Teaching your dog to weave between your legs? Why would you want to do this? How do you do it? Let's find out. Hey, I'm Pam Duffy from Agile Canines and I'm here with my dogs Ben Mia and a few of their friends filmed on location in the beautiful Scottish countryside to teach you some canine conditioning tips, tricks and exercises. So if that's something you're interested in, don't forget, come back every week. So why would you want to teach your dog to weave between your legs? So like last week's circles exercise, if you haven't already seen that, check that in the cards up above. This is such an awesome trick for a dynamic stretch for your dog. As they're flexing both ways and working in a fairly tight space, it's really good for warming up and stretching those muscles. And it works both sides at the same time. It's good for power and flexibility because the dog's having to change legs all the time and push off in different directions. So it's a fantastic conditioning exercise for your canine. It builds confidence because the dogs have to go under you between your legs which can be a big deal for some dogs so this really helps build your relationship together and once they understand it it's great fun look at how much the dogs love zipping about between your legs so to teach this exercise it's easier to start with a walking leg weave so you want to start with your dog in a heel position and then step forwards with the leg opposite to them so if they're on your right hand side you want to step forward with your left leg if they're on your left hand side you want to step forwards with your right leg and then you're going to take your treat and lure your dog through your legs until they come out the other side facing forward so healing in the other side and then reward them for that and step forwards with your other leg and continue now if your dog's nervous going through your legs then just reward them for small steps like sticking their nose a little bit further each time until they're comfortable and confident stepping between your legs never force them or get angry with them just let them follow the lure if they get lost at any point then just slow down your lure and you don't want the treat too far in front of them and like other lure tricks you want to fade out the lure so eventually you won't have a treat in your hand and then your hand signals get smaller and then just your voice command and the dog will do it on that. Once your dog is really comfortable with the walking weave position we can try a standing weave position where you'll just be standing next to the dog with your legs slightly apart and just bend each leg in turn and encourage your dog through your legs and we can do a nice fast weaving between your legs without you walking. Now for this exercise if you're going to be doing weaves in agility it's sometimes worth considering what commands you're going to use here. Now my dogs have never been confused if we're facing a set of weaves and I say weave they know to do that one or if I have them at a heel and I'm in a stationary position not doing agility and I say weave they understand it's through my legs. But looking back if I'd have thought about it better it would have been better to have two commands. So so if you're going to do agility weaves it could be useful to say legs or something like that. It can get confusing if you've got a load of tricks to remember all the words that you're going to use as commands for the dogs. But just think in advance, something like legs would do perfectly. So I hope you're inspired now to get out there and train your dog this fun trick. It is super cute. So remember, like I always say, if you see any changes in your dog, get them right to the vet for a checkout and check any exercises are suitable for the age and breed of your dog. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next week.